Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Krishna Gopal. I completed my master from Indian Statistical Institute. In this video, we are going to talk about the interview question which people generally ask in the data science interview. I am going to share the question which I face in the interview and how I give the answer. So let's start this video. The first question in the interview, what generally people ask, what is the difference between the k-means and KNN algorithm. So K means is an unsupervised machine learning algorithm which is used to partition the data points into the K number of clusters. Whereas KNN is an supervised machine learning algorithm which is used to classify the new data points according to the neighborhood of that point. So this is the one of the most basic interviewer question that interviewer asked to you to check your knowledge that you know the difference between supervised machine learning algorithm and unsupervised machine learning algorithm now let's move to the next question next question is what is a decision boundary so decision boundary is an hypersurface where all the sample of one class are on one side and all the sample of another class are on another side that is like uh, this is the line so from one class the sample points are this side and other points are on this side this is also the important question people ask in the interview what is a decision boundary so once they ask what is a decision boundary now they can ask you Okay, what is the decision boundary in the logistic regression? So, in the logistic regression, the decision boundary is a hyperplane or a line surface. Please make sure, don't tell in the interview that decision boundary in the logistic regression is a sigmoid. Sigmoid is an activation function. It's not a decision boundary in logistic regression. So, please don't tell in the interview that sigmoid is a decision boundary okay so the third question is that can we use the linear regression linear regression algorithm in a classification task yes we can use the linear regression in a classification task also by setting some threshold value but the result by using the linear regression is much more worse compared to the logistic regression why because the linear regression objective is to to find the best fit line between the response and the predictor and its prediction its outcome are the real values that is from minus infinity to plus infinity say an example like you want to predict the house price so it is this model give you the house price estimated house price rate Whereas in the logistic regression, the output is an probability which lies between 0 to 1. Example, whether the customer want to make a purchase or not. So you want to just classify, this is a binary classification, either 0 or 1. So if you use the linear regression in this case, then you have to set one threshold value. But believe this linear regression does not perform well compared to the logistic regression so yes we can use linear regression but it not perform well and you can give the reason also next question which is the most important what are the assumption of linear regression so there are many assumption in linear regression like first assumption is the response and the predictor should have a linear relationship second the error in the linear regression should follow the normal distribution the third assumption is there is no heterocidacity fourth is there is no outliers fifth, fifth one there is no multicollinearity and the last the errors are not correlated with each other so these are the four five assumption you can tell in the interview in which the most important are the there should be a linear relationship between the response and predictor. Second, there is no heterocidacity. And the third one is that there is no multicollinearity. These are the three important. If you mention error should follow the normal distribution, 
so be ready the next question comes to you which i face many times in the interview next question which come the what will happen if error does not follow the normal distribution if error does not follow the normal distribution in the linear regression then some of the hypothesis test is say which we build the hypothesis test in to check there is a there is a some relationship between the response and predictor or not is not valid also the confidence interval which as which actually capture the estimated value for the beta naught and beta one is not uh, more valid if the error does not follow the normal distribution why because now the, now we lose the normality we use, we lose the symmetricity from the from the distribution now we have the skewed distribution that means we are not, not assigning the equal probabilities to both the end so that's the reason if error does not follow the normal distribution we not have the good confidence interval interval in good confidence interval as as well as our hypothesis test is not valid these are the five question which i discuss in this video so in every video i will put the five five question so you that's easy for you to watch also and easy for you to understand also let me know any question if any question is not clear let me know in the comment section so i can reply and i can help you to solve your doubt for up to that thank you stay safe and keep watching the video bye